guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be yet another one brand review and if you remember my last one brand review which was with Catrice Cosmetics I was wearing the same thing. I took off my makeup to do this video because I'm about to be making an Ulta run pretty soon and I need to return some things before it becomes too late. So today's video is going to be all about J-Cat Beauty which is another brand that's sold at Ulta. It's very very affordable. I don't have a product for every single part of my face. I don't have a foundation, a setting powder, any lip products. I don't have an eyeliner, eyebrow product, but I do have some eyeshadows, a bronzer, highlighter, blush, mascara, setting spray, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first few things I got are these little loose pigments. These are the Shine Your Day Shimmery Powders. These are $3.45 at Ulta, but here's what the packaging looks like. It's very, very messy. There's no sifter. I don't like the packaging at all. You do get quite a bit of product, and I feel like I would never use these up. So this shade is 125 bronze, which is just a really pretty shimmery, like coppery bronze. This one is my favorite. This is 102 vanilla, which is just a really, really pretty champagne color. It's just your basic champagne vanilla. And then I got 119 lavender blush, which is more of an icy lavender pink. I have worn the shade vanilla on my face as a highlighter and it is so beautiful. It's so intense. It gives you that super dewy wet look. If you have super oily skin, this will probably make you look oilier and this may or may not emphasize texture and pores and stuff. So you have to be very light handed with this. These are all so pigmented. They're very intense and shimmery. They don't really have a whole lot of shades on the Ulta website. They do have a ton on the JCAT Beauty website. I'm going to try to play with all these into my look today. I did just do some Coastal Sins eyeshadows in the crease just to have like my matte shadows in there because I don't have anything matte today. So I think I'll start off with bronze and just put this all over my eyelid. You have to put it on the back of your hand, which really, really sucks. Ah! It comes out in clumps sometimes. Here's what bronze looks like. As you can see, it's very reflective. And I don't even know if I would really call this a bronze shade. I would call this more of like a coppery gold. I'm just gonna tap this under the crease. And this isn't wet. Like this is pretty intense for it to not be wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush and show you guys what it looks like that way because I'm having a really hard time picking it up off my hand. So now I'm gonna move on to vanilla, which like I said, is my favorite. It's like little rocks coming out. Oh my God, do you see this? <gasps> no! Can you guys see that? Uh! Okay, so here's vanilla, a very, very messy swatch. Sorry about it, but this shade takes the cake. So I guess I'm just gonna work with the product that fell on my desk. So I'm just gonna put this on the inner corner to the center of my lid. This is definitely one that looks wet without actually wetting it. But just for the sake of the video, and because I think it makes it even prettier, I am going to wet my brush. All right, so the last one is Lavender Blush. And this isn't one I like to go for myself just because I don't really like icy pink shades. But that is a very, very pretty shade. Again, very reflective. Kind of has like a blue undertone to it. Ugh. So I may just put this in the inner corner just because I've got a lot of warmth going on on my eyelid. And I just don't know if this would really match up with the other shades. You'll just have to trust my word that it's very pretty. And if you like icy pink shades, you will like this one. I'm gonna go off camera and do my eyeliner and then I'll show you guys some mascara. So I'm back with not only the rest of my eye makeup on, aside from mascara, but also my foundation, setting powder, concealer, all that stuff because I don't have any products from JCAT Beauty to show you in those categories. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. We're gonna get started with the mascara. So on the website, this is called the Love Live Lash Faux Fiber Mascara. So this is $5.99. So here's what the wand looks like. It's just your typical kind of narrow cone-shaped wand. And you can see the fibers in this. Now usually, I cannot wear fiber mascaras because they get into my contacts, they irritate my eyes, so I just try to avoid those at all costs. So they have three other mascaras on the website. I have no idea why I picked this one unless it was free because I know JCAT Beauty does a thing where if you spend so much you get a free product. It's showing that I paid for it. I apparently paid for it. I picked this out. I have no idea what's wrong with me. So I have curled my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and put on two coats to the top lashes. So there's one coat of the mascara on this side. Do you even see anything? So now going in for layer two. This is by far the driest mascara I've ever used in my life. It's like it's nothing but fibers. It's like there's not even an actual like liquid formula in here. So on top of it being absolutely nothing, it's done nothing but flake under my eyes. So that's always fun. I really tried to layer it up and put on the same amount I would with any other mascara. And this is what we got. 
Literally, there's no difference. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a mascara that I do like. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Rock. Moving on to the rest of my face, I only have some face products left. So I got the Golden Soleil Bates Bronzer in the shade Cancun Golden Tan. So this is just a shimmery, not really shimmery, more of like a sheen marbleized bronzer. But it's really just a coppery bronze with pink swirls throughout it oh my god my nails look so bad as you can see it's pretty orange based and it's also just a little too reflective i don't think it's bad it's just not what i want in a bronzer and it does have a really nice texture it's very high quality feeling and as you can see it does add a really pretty subtle glow it makes your skin look really glowy and very healthy like you just went out in the sun and i really do like that effect if i go light handed with it I can make it work and it does look pretty, but it's just so pigmented that you can go heavy handed really, really quickly. I forgot to mention, this is $7.99 on the Ulta website. There are four shades. So the next thing I have is a blush and this is called the Love Struck Blusher and Bronzer. This is $3.99. This is the shade 105 Pumpkin. So here's what that looks like. These are the ones that have the little cat embossment on them. I'll put a picture up over here what it looked like before I dip my brush into it. But basically the cat is an overspray and it looked so pretty when the cat was was on it if the cat embossment had held up its color it would have been such a beautiful blush but literally within two times of using this it was gone personally this is not my kind of shade i like more of a peachy pink i don't really like a straight up peach which is what this is it's so flaky and powdery it gets everywhere but my issue with this is pretty much just with the color not really with the formula aside from it being too powdery but there's what the color looks like it's just a straight up true orangey peach and you can go overboard very very fast so moving on to highlighter i picked up this you glow girl baked highlighter in the shade twilight this is the one that has the really pretty like little swirly waves through it this is such a beautiful shade now i will say it does not look very special when you swatch it it actually looks pretty dull it doesn't look super metallic or reflective or anything and this is a very pretty like bronzy champagne color this reminds me of ColourPop's wisp so i do want to show you guys what the shimmery loose pigment powder looks like on the skin as a highlight i do want to use vanilla on the other side of my face oh look at it that's so pigmented right off the bat it gives you that super intense wet effect so if you don't like intense highlighters you won't like this and it doesn't take much i mean i'm gonna have to like kind of blur this out a little bit because it's a little intense for me and that's me saying it there is the shade twilight and you would never know that it would be this pretty on the skin just by swatching it so sometimes swatches can be deceiving so i'm going to use the disaster that happened earlier on my desk to pick up some products and just put on this side oh as you can see very very intense i went in with very little like i have literally a pound on my desk still but yeah so pretty i think that shade will look good on a lot of different skin tones so the you glow girl baked highlighters are nine dollars so the last thing i have from jcat beauty is a setting spray so this is the spray set go makeup setting spray and this one's the one that's infused with aloe vera they do have two they have the aloe one and they also have one that's got cucumber and this is 6.99 so this is one of those products that i just cannot figure out if i really like it it's just kind of one of those where i've been on the fence it's got a really nice fine mist but it's still very powerful and that's why i look for in setting sprays so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this on Ugh. i do not like the scent of this at all it smells like aloe in a very chemical way so what i'm mostly confused on is if it makes my makeup wear longer i don't really find that it does that but i do feel like it kind of meshes all the products on my skin together and it gets rid of any cakiness like right now my skin looks very glowy very poreless and just very hydrated and before i was seeing a little bit of powderiness a little bit of cakiness and it looks very very refreshed but i don't really feel like this is one that's really going to improve the wear of your makeup okay so now let's do a quick little rundown a little roundup of all the products today and give you guys my final thoughts also i wanted to mention that the reason i didn't pick up a foundation is because the foundation they have it's a cushion foundation and the cushion foundation is like 18 dollars, and that is ridiculous you can actually get a refillable pan for like 13 and i was about to do that but then i thought you know what no so these little loose pigments i think are absolutely amazing i think they're very versatile you can wear them on your eyes your face the faux fiber mascara 
Uh uh. The only saving grace that this has is that maybe this one was a bad batch. Maybe it just sat there for too long. It's old. The Golden Soleil Baked Bronzer is definitely one I want to check out in other colors. I don't necessarily like this shade. It's just a little bit too orange for me. The Love Struck Blush Bronzer, I don't know why they're called that. They're all blush shades, but the little cat blushes I do think have potential. My problem was just with the shade, and that's just a personal preference. So I will be trying other shades in this. And for $4, I think it's a very, very good deal for blushes. The Baked Highlighter is one I definitely recommend, especially in the shade Twilight. I think this is so pretty. I think it will be pretty on so many different skin tones. And last, the setting spray is one I'll definitely have to keep playing around with because I do like how it looks right now. My skin looks a lot better than it did before I sprayed it. So I definitely feel like it does something. So that is it for this one brand review of JCat Beauty products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you let me know in the comments below what brand you want me to do. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe follow me on all my social media all the links are below as well as all the products I talked about today and I hope you guys have a beautiful day Mwah.